Hi, in this video, we will see how to create a free blog. Many people have wrong idea that to create a blog, they need some money, but it's not true at all. You can create your own blog freely by using this website, blogger.com. So this is completely free and it is super fast and very nice. What we need to do at first, we need to sign in to sign in this thing. I mean, this blogger.com, we need a Gmail account or Google account. If you already don't have any Gmail account, just create a Gmail account and then come to this side. Once you are in this side, then you will find a sign in button at the top right corner like this. We just need to click over here to access or to sign in the account. After clicking the sign in button, then it will ask you like this username and password. So we just need to put our Gmail username and then we have to hit next. And then after that, we have to put our password. And finally, we have to press the next button to logging the account. Once you logged in successfully, then you will find this type of page. So there is no menu initially you will not see. So what we have to do, we have to go this right corner. There is a three bar. We just need to click here. Then the menus will be appeared like this. Once the menus are there, then you will find there is no option to create the blog. So we have to press this drop down and then we'll find this type of option, new blog. So we just need to press this button and then it will prompt us this type of thing. It is asking choose a name for your blog. Basically, this is not our blog name. It is asking the page title of our blog or the blog name, something like that. Suppose I am typing my blog name is something like this few steps demo blog, but you can write your own name or I mean blog title. After that, we have to press next. Now, this is very important. Here you will see dot blogspot.com is at the end. So you cannot change this part. Now you have to choose a unique name uh, by which you can create your blog. So I'm typing randomly some name. So here it is showing this blog address is available. Let me do one thing. Let me type few steps blogspot.com. So I'm seeing that this blog already somebody taken few steps demo, this is available. So I can use this thing. Once we found that, then we have to click on save. After pressing this save button, we will able to create this address for our blogger blog and which is completely free. Now, if you want to access that site, we can directly type that URL in the browser address bar and we can check how our site looks like. So let us do one thing. Let's open a new tab and can we can check whether uh, the blog is really created or not. So I'm going to open a new tab now. After opening the new tab, I'm going to type the address of our blog, which we just created. The address of our blogger was fewstepsdemo.blogspot.com. This was the address. So after typing this, I'm going to hit enter key or return key. And we are seeing that we can access our blog by using this URL. And here, one thing is important just to mention that here, we are seeing that this is the page title which we created earlier, right? When we created the blog at that time, it asked us the uh, blogger name. So here we are seeing that is the exactly blogger name. And also in the top corner, we are seeing this. This is also page title also. Okay. Now let's go to the blogger control panel and let's do one thing. Let's create a post and publish it. And let's see how it looks like in our blogger blog. So I'm going to do that. Now I am in the main page of our blogger blog. So here we are seeing there is a button. It is called new post to create a new post. We just need to click over there. Once we click there, then it will open the new post compost panel where we can create a post and publish online. And anybody with this URL can access our site and can check our content or our website. That's all. So let's get started to create a new post. Creating a new post for blogger blog is very simple and easy. Just click on the new post and then a new page will be appeared. So I'm going to click here and then once I click here, then we will be able to see this type of page where there will be two things. One is title and then there is a description was below. Here at first we need to put a title, a meaningful title. For example, I am typing my first post as a title. And after that, in this description box, we need to put our own content. This here you can write as much as possible with image, everything. So I'm just uh, creating a dummy post by copying the same content. 
for me i am just showing you how to uh, create the uh, content okay but what actually this blog post content holds this holds everything like video then audio then image then formatted text underline then bold text then some uh, like colorful text many things okay you can uh, fill it like a microsoft word or something like that where you can actually write some text you can make uh, you can format the whole document you can put some image also you can put some video or link something like that okay so inside this blog post uh, everybody has their own need or own purpose okay suppose for me for my case my goal is to publish some tutorial so i can publish some tutorial i can write here some code and some text and i can describe all of those and also i can insert some videos so based on your need you will create this part okay and then after that we have to come to the right side in the right side there are many options now i will go on by one all of them uh, in summary but later in this coming video i will explain more details so let's go to the second part so in the right side we are seeing that post settings preview something like that so at first let me show you the uh, published on this option okay this is showing when it will be published here we, if we click there there is two option one is automatic and that is set date and time if we put automatic then it will be right now it will be published once we publish okay but if we set some date in some future date then it will be published on particular date for the time being i am going to select automatic so that once we publish it will be published but for your case you will decide what you want to do now i put automatic and then come to the permanent link this is called parma link what is that here you can actually customize your content post link so here you can do the customization i am not going too much detail of this part for this tutorial because it will be complicated for you for the time being i am just ignoring this thing and i am putting automatic parma link and then i am closing this drop down or this arrow by clicking this it will be decrease now let's come to the second part this is called location you can put the location where you want to publish suppose i am trying to publish this from new york okay so i can search here and then after that we can figure out that the here it is showing new york and then we can put our location over there okay so once it is done then i am going to minimize this location again now let's scroll down the next section where we can see uh, like who can comment okay i'm going to modify that part or if you wish you can also do that okay so i'm uh, after uh, minimizing this location it will it is coming here you will see three options one is allow i mean readers can put the comments and the next two options is do not allow okay show existing i hide existing that means if somebody already commented you can also hide or you can also show this thing so uh, this is the option right now i'm putting allow and i am leaving this thing now let's come to this label thing this is very important okay this label basically is like tagging okay here you can put some tag and based on that it, you can later uh, link your contents okay so for example this is our first content we can uh, type the thing like tutorial now once everything is finished now it's time to publish before publishing we can also check uh, how it looks we can click the preview button and it will open like this okay and here in this space we are seeing that there is preview is marked over there and this is the content which i just posted here we are seeing the location and also the tag or level and also the date and everything okay in the bottom of this preview panel there are a couple of icons so these are actually how it looks with different computer or mobile or some ipad or if you rotate how it looks okay i am not going those things now let's publish it so i'm going to click this button and once you click this button it's asking are you sure you want to publish i just pressed confirm and then it will be published and here we will see this post if we click this eye icon then it will show us the viewable i mean the public and if we click the arrow then it will come to the next uh, home page so this is our first post which we just created and this is our blog okay few step demo dot blogspot.com uh, which we created and this is our blog so that's all guys in this way you can easily create your blog and publish your content so that's all guys uh, hopefully by watching this video you are able to create your own blog which is completely free and i really like it it's very fast compared to other domain hosting or something i really like it and the good thing is that it's free and later if you want to earn some money using this blog 
I mean you can post some article content and after that you can apply for Google Adsense and from the, this ad revenue you can earn some money which is completely free right the your writing or your posting content in the blogger blog is completely free and you are getting those money freely after the integration of Google Adsense so that's all guys thank you for watching the video if you feel this video is very useful for you or at least useful please consider subscribing to our channel and like the video. Thank you for watching the video.